Uh, what's your name? Okay. All right. My name is Jake, and this is. And my name is Mark. Um, I'm from New Zealand, and um, Jake is from. I'm from the USA. Um, okay. And what we're here to do is tell you a little bit about the Cantwell Project, which is um, a project that we've put together here in the school, along with our school children, to help underprivileged kids. Uh, find a means to go to school, local schools here, as well as uh, benefit from the international school that we've got. Uh, how long you start the project? Uh, this project was started um, about six years ago. The school has been around for about ten years, so this, uh, it is one of the longest running uh, charity projects um, at the school. Um, when I came to the school two years ago, I agreed to take on the project um, as a way to, you know, I guess... Help to contribute towards Bangladesh. Yeah. Um, the, here at, at um, International School Dhaka, um, you know, we have a very nice environment. Uh, we have children from good, good backgrounds, they have enough money, they have everything they need. And yet, right next to the school, we have um, a very poor area where there are children who don't have enough to eat. They, their parents can't afford to send them to school. They don't have good clothes. So um, it's a way for us to help uh, these children who are living right next to where we work. The important basis of the whole project is uh, the theme of education. Um, yeah. And a cornerstone of the curriculum that we provide our students here is being internationally minded and acting upon um, their their empathy to um, go and help others and s put themselves in situations where they um, are their thoughts and values are challenged. So one of the cornerstones, or one of the big things that we want our own students to take away from this project is in what ways has my thinking changed, and, and how can I act. Um, responsibly for uh, people that are, are less fortunate than myself. It's a two-way thing, like, um, you know, ourselves and our students are helping them, but they're all helping us by raising our awareness, as Jake said, of, you know, what other people have to go through in Bangladesh. So it's, we're sort of helping, we're changing each other by interacting. So. How many kids in the project right now? Um, the project, since the beginning, um, we've had the same group of students and have added to it um, every year. We're up to about 22. About 22, about 22 students. So at the moment, uh, only two of you to in the, join the project. Yeah we, yeah, we we get a lot of help from other teachers in the school as well. Okay. We're more the facilitators of the project so, and we try and incorporate as many people as possible. So what make you decide to join this kind of the project? Well, I mean, this Bangladesh um, it has a lot of poverty, and this is a way that I can do something. I can take action, um, and I I want to help. So this is a way I can do that. I think it's a it's one of those countries where um, you can be here and, and see the poverty in your face every day. Um, when you're walking down the street, you're being asked by hundreds of kids a day, possibly, if you can help out. Um, and in, in, in a lot of ways that can be very defeating because you realize very quickly here that you're not going to help every single person in the country. The, one of the benefits of working on this project is you know that you're making a meaningful change uh, to a sustainable project and something that you're going to see day in and day out for the course of the time that you're here. Um, one of the most meaningful things for me is seeing these kids grow. I've been a part of their lives for um, 18 months and will you know, continue on as long as, as I'm here at the school and understanding that the money that these students get to go to school um, and seeing how their families benefit from uh, the simple act of education um, is a very powerful thing. Um, in a country like this, it's, uh, it, yeah. the change that you see happening is very real. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very, as Jake said, it's very real what we're doing. You know, we are directly paying their school fees, we are directly giving them food. So we're not just giving some money to some organisation that we don't know what's happening. We are doing something directly, we can see the effect on the children, and as Jack said, it's very real. So. Uh, is there uh, other way to make more people to come to help the project? Well, you know, we are, as, we are just one drop in the ocean. 
you know, this is 20 kids, but there are a, a, a thousand, a million times that amount in Bangladesh in the world that also need help. So I think the value is that if people can see what we are doing, maybe they can try and do something to help as well. Like a similar project. A similar project or helping other people set up a okay. project and, and donating towards a project. Oh, okay. In some way there's so many children out there in Bangladesh and in other parts of the world that need help. And I think another thing to think about is that you don't necessarily need to travel to great lengths in order to find a project, in order to do this. Um, I know of people um, in my own community back in the United States where I'm from where just out my back door I could start up a project that's similar to this. Um, not necessarily you know, in, in the same uh, scope as what we're doing here, but I think the lesson to be learned is that it's very easy if you go into a project like this with an open mind um, and a caring heart that, that you can make a difference no matter how small. It's, it's not easy. Um, it's not as simple as I thought it would be. Mm. Um, there are various issues. Sometimes there are double meanings to an action that you take. But I think we just have to take courage and keep on doing it and we will make a difference. So far, uh, did you have um, some difficult in the project? I think there's a lot of difficulties. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think maybe when I began this project I was a bit naive thinking that I'm going to come in and help a bunch of kids and they're going to be well fed and they're going to go to school and it would all be you know, very happy and successful. Um, but I've learned a lot about the poverty cycle just based on interacting with these kids um, and understanding what their expectations are for the project and, and trying to uh, make the project work with them and fit for them, it can be very challenging at times. We've actually had to understand these children a lot more before we can help them properly. Um, as Jake said, I went into it rather naive. I, I didn't really understand the children. Now I'm beginning to understand you know, why they behave certain ways, what the effect poverty has had on them. And once I understand these children a lot more, I think I can help them in a better way. So, yeah. So there's problems, yes, but we can overcome those problems and we can still push forward and help. So. Okay, okay, thank you guys, you're doing great job. Thank you. Thanks, best of luck.